Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So today we're going to be making this gorgeous hat box die set. So I'm going to be making a girly version with my new floral papers. But again, you can make this to match any sort of theme for your hat. So um, I do have the top hat here, so you can make a lovely gift box to match the top hat. But I'm going to be making a matching box for the ladies hat, which is where did you get that hat die set. So let's have a quick look at what we're going to be using today. I'm going to be using my brand new papers, a grand day out paper pack, and I absolutely adore all of these papers. If you've watched my channel for quite a while, you will know these papers are li literally my favorites that we've done so far. Okay, so I'm going to be using all of those things I've just cut out and I'll be going through those in a moment so with this is going to make the base you need to cut two of those for the base and this is going to make the lid you need two of those for the lid now this here this is um, a lovely like scalloped trim to go around the lid there you can even add it around the base as well and here we have the two circles one for the base so the smaller one is for the base and the larger one is for the lid and here we have a lovely die here with it's a scalloped oval die with some stitching detail and that is going to go with the stamp set okay so here is the stamp set and let's grab that all of these are going to fill most of these are going to fit inside there we go and we have some extra detail as well I'm hoping you can see that there's not too much glare from the lights and here we also have four different flowers now these are absolutely lovely it's going to do the um, score scoring detail there for the petals okay let's get on with making our box it comes together super duper fast so this is the paper that I'm using I've trimmed it down to A4 so basically this is a 12 by 12 just trim it down to eight and a quarter and that should fit through your die cutting machine now this will require a large format die cutting machine due to the size of this piece here or if you have a standard big shot with the um, the extended platform it will go through there as well so I'm just going to join these two together and I'm going to use red tape because it's nice and quick. Okay, I use these for my red tape, my gunky scissors. I'm not going to use my best ones. Okay, so grab a bone folder and just push that down. That gets rid of all of the air bubbles. So I'm going to use my grid mat here just to line everything up and keep it all nice and straight and then I'm going to pop this together now there are little dashes on here to help you line it up um, they're most helpful when you're using a plain um, card so you can actually see them but when you use a patterned card stock or paper things disappear okay so those are now joined together now what we're going to do is add red tape all along the bottom there this is on the inside Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn this just make sure we put the red tape in the right place we're going to have these joined together so I want my red tape on the outside here I'm gonna go, my tape is slightly tapered so I'm going to go in from this side squish that down 
Okay, I'm going to remove that in a moment. I just want to sort out these teeth. So this is very similar to how the the hats, the gentleman's hat and the lady's hat go together as well. So there's a lot of, a lot of this sort of folding going on. So give that a little bit of a bend. And another thing that you can do is to make this base out of cardstock and then make a wrap using this die cut the same thing chop off these teeth at the bottom and then wrap it around over that and that will give you a super sturdy box so I'm just removing that and then we can remove this tape here So match up the teeth at the bottom and there is a notch there at the top. Um, join those together and then turn that inwards. So I have some circles cut out here. So if you remember from the die set that I showed you, there are two circle dies. So we have the smaller one and the larger one. So I have one cut out from white cardstock one from the patterned and then from the smaller cardstock, the smaller die, white cardstock and the patterned one. So we're making the base, so we're going to be using the smaller one first. So what I'm going to do is take the white one and I'm going to pop that inside. There we go. Use your bone folder or you can grab a ruler or anything or if you can get your hand in there just press that down there is our base pretty much done so grab your other circle and we can glue that down Okay, so now we can move on to the lid. Now this goes together in exactly the, um, the same way. So I'm gonna speed this one up. Okay, so that is the lid done. Let's pop that on there. There we go. That is a beautiful hat box. Again, you can decorate this however you wish. And um, you can pop some lace around here. If you want a tighter lid, so what you need to do is before you add on the circles, just wrap it around and then get the measurement you need and then pop the circle on the top you may need to go for a smaller circle what we've done is there's extra room here is because I've only got one layer so this die set was designed for two layers of cardstock on here and then have a nice um, lid that does lift off quite easily so um, as there's only one layer of just the paper cardstock here that is why there is a little bit of a gap there but if you make it out of card make a wrap and cover it with paper then pop this on it will be absolutely fine but I'm happy with that as it is so this is the ladies hat that I've made as well so this will fit in there perfectly and we can pop that in there and again the gents hat that is also going to fit in the hat box and there are other things that you can make with this hat box as well here we are 
this is a cake stand made from two of these these lids here and you can even use this as a hat stand so that is going to go inside there so I've got one of the hats being stored in there and if this was a little bit lower you might be able to get another hat on there or maybe put in some other accessories that's a bit too big but you can probably put some other accessories in there as well so that is um, a really nice little storage idea for that we can just put some little cakes on there what I am going to do is I'm going to add some dowling rods here I'm going to cover them with pretty paper and put them on the inside here and that is going to give that a bit more support but I do have a tutorial for this I've already filmed the tutorial for this one so that will be out on my channel very shortly so that is the what have I made today right this is the hat box I've got so much out in front of me now it's like what video did I just film okay so I've just done the hat box so that is the hat box die set you get 10 um, dies in there there's so many different things you can make with this one and um, yeah I hope you really like this one so if you like this give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again next time